All right, folks. Uh, what I'm trying to do is save a little bit of money here. These are my work shoes. As you can see, they're worn, but they don't leak. And what I'm going to try to do is I just need them to last me about six more weeks. And I have like a couple of holes. They don't leak, but I have a couple of holes like my toes going to come through this vinyl. I do have a brand new pair, but I kind of don't want to use them yet. So what I don't mind the mess. What I'm going to do is I got some leather vinyl from my sister for like uh, her friend does like boats and stuff. So this is very flexible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, measure it around this arch in here. And I'm going to use Gorilla Glue and I'm going to Gorilla Glue the snot out of it. As long as my toe don't go through. As long as I, you know, I said they don't leak. So I'm trying to get, uh, get to the end of August with these things. And then I'll gladly throw them out. I mean, they're a little worn, but they don't, they don't, you know, I don't slip on them. So it's like almost like a uh, redneck repair. And the thing is, they're very comfortable. And I got these from Payless right before they went out of business. And I bought like four pairs. And the, obviously the other three pairs are gone. And this is all I have left. And like I said, they don't leak except my toes going through them. But you can see like the finish is coming off. They're worn. So let me cut out these pieces and we'll glue them. And hopefully this works. We'll see if we can uh, prolong the life of these uh, sneakers. I'm not trying to be cheap here, but I'm just trying to save a couple of bucks. So I don't have to, so I don't try to prolong, so I don't have to use the uh, the new pair until September. So, all right, be right back. What I did was I I flipped the shoe over. I went my hand in a sharpie. I kind of made a uh, kind of outline for this. So we're gonna cut that out. And see how it fits, and I'll, obviously I'm gonna have to trim it. Hopefully this works to save a couple of bucks. What I did was instead of covering this whole piece, this is almost like a little bit raised vinyl. I uh, cut the inserts out the best I could, and I'm just gonna gorilla glue them because I mean this piece is fine. So let's see how that works. All right, this one's not as pretty, but you see I uh, went a little nuts with the uh, gorilla glue. Hopefully it's dry overnight, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully they, uh, holds up and. See what happens. All right. Thank you for my, uh, allowing me to share you with my, hopefully it works, redneck uh, shoe repair. All right. Bye. Hey, guys. It's the uh, next day after I did the shoe repair. And I'm just showing you the Gorilla Glue I used. Um, two things I didn't take into account when I did this. Um, A, the Gorilla Glue doesn't dry clear, it dries tan, which I forgot about, and also Gorilla Glue expands, so when you read the bottle, most things they tell you to clamp it down. Well, I kind of forgot about this, and within an hour of uh, checking on the shoes, I realized they expand, so I had to kind of push them down and push out the excess glue, and well... This is the results, and you might laugh, but I used the shoes at work today, and they worked. They, I uh, stripped floors, and they, they kept my feet dry. They weren't leaking, and you might get a kick out of this, and they look weird, and they look very, like, they're, it's a redneck shoe repair, so <laughs> they work. So here you go. Don't laugh. And it's actually solid. I was taking a ratchet before, the end of a ratchet handle, and tapping on it. It's, it's actually very hard. And they say on the bottle, it's actually waterproof. And you can see how the Gorilla Glue expanded, but it, like, it kind of like raised it up. But it worked. This shoe is actually worse than this shoe. This shoe is actually not too bad. But you see where it drips? But you know something, I let it dry overnight, and it worked, and it's hard. And the only thing is, like, I guess it kind of cracked from flux, flux, um, flexing my toe, but that's not a big deal. But all this kept me dry today, stripping floors. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's not the prettiest repair, but it will work. Like I said, I have brand new shoes. I have two pairs of safety shoes. I just want to get through the end of the summer with these. About six more weeks. 
And that that is funny. That's funny. You, you know, they're ugly. You know, trying to save a couple bucks. You know, get better life out of them. But they do work. And I hope you enjoyed the video and it made you smile and you got a laugh. And see, I'm, I mean, I'm even pulling on it. So I hope you got a kick out of this. But hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right. Have a good day. Bye.